Okay, well, I am absolutely out of my mind because I am trying to replace that little plastic piece right there. It completely disintegrated. And I have got this center console unscrewed, unbolted, whatever you want to call it, which was actually easy. Um, that was just like two screws, one, two screws, and then this bolt here for the armrest, uh, and then two screws at the front, and then it just popped. Those little prongs in the front, where this thing, see that right there? Those little prongs, they just fit. See that? So, those guys right there um, release. Now, I can't get this whole piece out because this guy is in the way. I have uh, wheel chocks behind my wheels because this thing's in neutral or reverse, whatever, so I've got, um, I went online, YouTube, nothing, nobody has this to help, so I'm like, I gotta make some sort of a video with this. Now, if you can see, really hard to see, but you see that little black nut, that is the adjustment nut for the emergency brake so what I need to do is I need to I'll shine a light on that guy that one right there that black right there that black nut I need to actually loosen that so that I can raise the emergency brake if you understand as soon as you loosen this up it, you'll you'll be able to raise this higher. And right now it's a good tension, but the problem is it, it won't go high enough. See, this thing basically has to come, you know, pretty much, I don't want to say vertical, but it's got to go up pretty good because the slot is uh, pretty short. So um, I'm going to undo this guy. Oh, and there's a little plate that comes here, I discovered. This guy right here actually fits in right here. So if you cover that up and it just pops in with these little clips, basically it's like that. See, if you cover it up, you really have no access. So you gotta actually take that out. You know what, I'm gonna tell you that Volkswagen and all their wisdom makes this stuff so difficult to get to. I mean, everything is hard to get to. Why does this need to be one piece? I don't know. Why can't this be two pieces? Something where you can knock out right there so you can just get rid of it. I have no idea why they do this, but uh, it's ridiculous. So, now, herein lies a little bit of an issue. That, I believe, is a 10 millimeter. The only 10 millimeter wrench I have is my little wrench set, Craftsman set that I use for um, some uh, power tool adjustment. And that's it, 10 millimeter. Now it's not very long. It's probably like three and a half, three and three quarter inches long, maybe four inches long. So I need to get that down there on top of that nut right there and I need to turn it and I can only do a little bit of turn each time see there's there's a little bit of turn right there I just come back over and reset it I'm sorry that the phone is it's in your way I can't see at the same time but I'm just so kind of perplexed with this whole thing that this is required in order to get the thing out. So there, I can get a little bit, turn it, and uh, you can see.
be. I'm just turning it a little bit each time because I have absolutely no reach and I don't have a ratcheting setup right here. So mine won't work in there. I don't have a 10 millimeter. So, all right, now I've done that a few times. I doubt that will be enough, but let's just see if there's any adjustment. I'm gonna be here all day. But at least, at least I know that we're making progress. So, as far as I know, this this is the nut that I need to be releasing. So I'm just kind of using my instincts on this. I can see the two cables, so it's got to be it. Uh, I am not a mechanic at all. I'm just trying to get this car. My daughter has this car. I'm trying to get it up and running for her. I mean, I say up and running, but get it so we can get the uh, shifter to shift properly with that piece of plastic out of there. And actually, I was able to find that part on eBay. And I hope it's the right part. Bought it used. Was not able to find it new. I mean, this is slow going, man. All right, let's check this. See what, if it did anything. We're getting there, it's better. Slowly but surely. Now I'm gonna try to use this end to see if I can get it in there, if, if I have room now. I don't know if I do or not. You gotta kinda get it behind. Wrench is just not long enough. I'm gonna video this without recording, sorry. I mean, I'm gonna do this without recording. Okay, the moment of truth. I just uh, loosened up some more. You can't really see that in there, but let me shine a light on in there. That little black uh, nut right there. Uh, between those two cables, there's a black nut. And I just changed I just um, loosened that up with my little 10 millimeter wrench. And before I did it, this emergency lever would go to about here, maybe there. But now it goes to there. So let's see. This is the moment of truth. I'm going to lift this up between everything here and just see if I've got enough clearance.
just realized the uh, little this guy right here. I'm sorry, I'm terrible at video. This guy right here, I just pulled through. That's a little bit of there's like no slack there. So, and then I guess there's a. This is why people don't video. This is ridiculous. That little guy right there for that power outlet. I should probably take that off. Huh? So I'm going to figure out how to disconnect that. It looks like it's got a clip on both sides. I'll figure it out. So, well, the good part is it looks like I can now get it out. There's not a lot of room. Probably loosen it a little bit more. That's the little nut that I had to loosen. Now, that this is uh, loosened up, I can actually loosen that by hand because this thing's out of the way. So I just released it a little bit more so I have plenty of room. Now, you want to be careful not to have it too loose that it comes out from here. You don't want these guys to come away, so just be careful. I don't want to accidentally lose my cables there. Um, and when I do it, I want to make sure both of them are synced up in there. So, this guy is good. I went ahead and disconnected that from there. And, um, I mean, this is just one of those things where you just don't have a lot of room to work with, and it's just a pain. But, i got to come up to the front now. just to get this thing out from the back seat. Okay, now, I've got a couple of cords, and I think that they're going to be from that 12-volt plug right there. I have to disconnect in order to actually get this thing completely separated. Let's see here. See that guy right there? I need to take that cord off. This is like so big. Why do they have to make it so big? All right. So the way you do these is you just push in. Just push that part in. And it releases. And then you pull it out. See that? Okay. Now, this guy is free to come out. And... As well, just set it right here. Oh my god. Oh, just to get that thing out. Hmm. Lower the seat here. All right. So now. Here's the thing right here. I'm a little concerned and I'm going to tell you this seriously. We're going to sell this vehicle and when I just if I disconnect the battery, guess what's going to happen? I can't get it smogged. So I'm very concerned about this being that it's in uh, drive or whatever. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to disconnect it here from any power source that I can see. I'm just going to disconnect the loom, the wiring loom, and then uh, that way I can feel better about it before I touch this thing. 
Okay. Do that. All right. I've been using this guy to get in here and get this released. And basically, it's two of them. But the problem is, is you do one of them and then the other one clicks back in. So you got to kind of go a half a step each time. And then finally, you'll get it free. So, all right. So that guy's good. Now, I do believe that that is the only thing that's given this power. So, I am going to double check that. I think if I just turn the key, it will light up. If it doesn't light up, I'm pretty sure I'm good. So, let's see. Yeah, nothing lit up, so. Whereas before, I did have a light, so. All right, I think we're good to go. Now I just have to figure out what part I need to take off in order to replace this center section here. That strip everybody knows about. Let's see here. It looks almost like this one piece. It's almost like an entire piece that's clipped onto the back. God, this is weird. Could that be just one big? That whole thing is the guide. Okay, now I'm seeing it. I got it now. That whole shutter thing, whatever you want to call it, dust cover. I think it just, it kind of slides up and down in this little compartment. And it makes it so that it doesn't uh, get loose. So... gently okay so now it looks like that's free I think yeah now if you look behind there you can see the little see that the, those little parts yeah that's what was pulling off this thing okay so now we look at this, let's see if we can take this thing apart without damaging it. I'm so hesitant because I don't know what's going to fall where. Looks like that little clip right there. Okay, so that goes in that little hole right there, okay, so you see that? So that means that one has a little hole. Maybe if I, right there. Yeah, there it is. All right. Looks like we have removal of this. Partially. Oh, it's getting caught up on that. Uh, I think what we have to do is take off this circuit board, just r remove it from this area here and put it to the side without touching it. Because it's stuck in that wiring loom and it won't release. Okay, so we'll just bend that guy over there. Take this off. So that's the sh shroud. God, that's crazy. A little, uh, here and there get that out of there all right okay so this is what we're left with now I have no idea if I need to save any of this 
See that right there? Clearly no good. And then clearly this is no good because it's completely separated. So that goes down there. Okay, so that goes like that. That one there. That goes like that. Look at all that crud. I think I'm going to get a little vacuum and vacuum this up. Okay, so that's... I'm just going to leave these broken parts there so I... I'm going to leave that one there so that doesn't get mixed up. I'm going to go get a little vacuum.